Hello Internet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with a fascinating machine learning framework called TinyGrad. It is an open source framework developed by a company called TinyCorp. So the first thing I'm going to do is activate uh, a Conda environment where I have TinyGrad installed. And uh, this framework too, like most ML frameworks, is written in Python. So we're going to have to create a Python file now. We'll be working with tensors and to import a TinyGrad tensor, you'll have to say from tinygrad.tensor import tensor. Okay, and now let's create our first tensor. It's going to be a matrix of size 3 by 3 and it's going to be called X. Um, now to initialize this uh, 3 by 3 matrix with the uh, values from 1 to 9 I'm going to be using a helper function called a range and say 1 comma 10 here and now this is simply going to be a one dimensional array of size 9 but we can reshape it to become a 3 by 3 matrix by saying 3 comma 3 here Similarly, let's create uh, another 3 by 3 matrix and this time let us go from 10 to 19 and reshape that 2 to 3 by 3. Good. And now all we need to do to multiply these two matrices is uh, called the matmul function of uh, TinyGrad's tensor. So yeah and at this point we have just multiplied two matrices but not really because these tensors are uh, lazy tensors and they are by default lazy in TinyGrad so to actually see the result you will have to call the numpy method and it is at this point that uh, the operation actually happens so let's see if this worked Okay, looks like it worked. Um, let's let's add another operation to this graph uh, and say we want to find the sum of uh, all the elements in this uh, product matrix. So we could say prod sum equals prod dot sum, and then we print that. And if you try running it again, and uh, we seem to have gotten the sum. Okay, now one of the best features of uh, TinyGrad is its uh, debug levels. So by setting uh, an environment variable called debug to four, you get to see not only the entire graph, but also the code that is generated by the library. So if I do this, I get all of this, uh, I get a lot of code here. Now this I believe is uh, metal code because I'm running a Mac M1. But, uh, but if you're running some other architecture, you would be seeing a different uh, kind of code here. And here you see the actual graph we have. And the code starts here. So we don't have to be limited to metal code just because I'm using Mac M1. I could uh, add another variable called uh, um, CPU and set that to one to generate regular CPU code. And uh, this looks much simpler. And I also have Clang installed, so I could change this to Clang and uh, see if it generates Clang code now. It 
it is a bit slow but it did generate it good so now you know how to do some basic operations with uh, TinyGrad you were able to multiply two matrices and find the sum of uh, all the individual elements in it which is pretty good for a short video like this thank you for watching